What's up, everybody? It's Abe back with another episode of These Are The Breaks. And today we are going to be opening up a 1990 box of NBA Hoops basketball cards. Um, this is a box of 36 packs. There's about 15 cards per pack, about 540 cards per box. Um, this is a Series 1 box. As you can see in the back, these are Series 2 boxes. Um, we're looking for a bunch of really, really interesting cards in here. Um, uh, we're looking for, of course, uh, the Michael Jordans. You're going to find a Michael Jordan uh, base card as well as a Michael Jordan All-Star. In addition to the Michael Jordan, there's a couple really cool rookies. There's a Vladi Divac rookie. Uh, you have the uh, David Robinson rookie. Uh, and I believe you have the Sean Kemp rookie. We're going to be looking for all these cards. Now, in addition to um, the... You know, Hall of Fame players, you know, your Larry Birds and your Magic Johnson and your Michael Jordan and your Isaiah Thomas. There are two other cards that we're going to be looking for out of this box. One is the Mark Jackson and one is the Sam Vincent. Now, the Sam Vincent card we're going to talk about in a second. The Sam Vincent um, card you're going to see right here that is Michael Jordan in that card. And Michael Jordan is not wearing a number 23 jersey. He's wearing a number 12 jersey. So um, this is not necessarily an error card. The story behind it was that uh, they got to the game that day and somebody stole Michael's Jord uh, Michael Jordan's jersey. So the only other jersey that they had laying around was a number 12, and that's the one that he wore for this particular game. Of course, when they were taking pictures, decided to use the same the picture of Sam Vincent for his basketball card. They realized that Michael Jordan was in it and um it he was wearing a jersey that had number 12 instead of 23 so it made its way into the set and now you have this really interesting card now only up until recently did these cards really start to take off this card right now i believe in a psa 10 is worth about 500 dollars if you could believe it so this we're making this video today it's february 28th uh tomorrow's march 1st so uh, at the end of February in 2021, this card is worth about 500 bucks. Now, about a year ago, you almost couldn't even find any of these cards. Um, it wasn't as popular, but I mean, these boxes, literally three months ago, we were buying these boxes for 20, 25 bucks a piece. Now they're about, I would say $100 on eBay. So things are definitely going up. Now, in addition to the Sam Vincent, there's a Mark Jackson card. Now, nothing really stands out about this card unless you know why uh, or what makes this card special in the back over here you could see these two guys sitting in the back that is the menendez brothers that's right the the kids who killed their parents for money obviously they were able to afford courtside seats that day um at the uh, basketball game but uh it made its way onto the card so again you have this random player with the Menendez brothers in the background. And this card now goes for around 500 bucks in a PSA 10. So there's a lot of cards that we're going to be looking for out of this box. Um, I've opened a couple of these boxes already. This is the first one that I'm going to be opening on the channel. So I'm super excited. I know a lot of people, a lot of my friends have been asking me to open up one of these boxes because they know that I'm sitting on, you know, probably a, a half a case of them. And I said, okay, I'll open one up this week when I have some time and I will go through the box. Uh, so let's see here. So again, in these packs, we're going to just pull them out here real quick. You're going to get about 36 packs per box. I'm just going to put these off to the side here. We're just going to start ripping right into them. Uh, it's kind of like a plastic, um, almost like a plastic bag type material. Uh, on the packs. Um, really easy to open. Um, for the most part with these cards, uh, I'd say a lot of them are decently centered. Sometimes you'll hit a box where like no cards in the box will be centered. And sometimes you'll hit a box where every card is centered. So it really is kind of a crapshoot with, you know, with regards to um, how many uh, or how centered the cards are. But there's a lot of great cards in here. So Speaking of which, the first one we're going to hit, a lot of Hall of Famers, we have Akeem Olajuwon. There's a Tim Hardaway rookie card, Chuck Pearson. I'm just going to put all the um, rookies in a pile over here. Here's a Fat Lever. Uh, so far, these cards are looking really nice. There's a Perv Ellison. Uh, let's see here. 
We have Isaiah Thomas. Looks like the corner got dinged on that Isaiah. That's a shame. Oh, there's a Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley got a little scratched. Here's a Patrick Ewing. Uh, just a bunch of really, really good cards in here to look out for. There's a Scotty Pippen All-Star. We'll put him over there. Um, Jeff Martin, rookie. There's a beautiful Larry Bird card. That's nice. Pretty much nice and centered. Um, let's see. We have a Sean Elliott. Dan Marjorie, Ron Higgins, Bobby Hansen. So we're looking for, you know, all the usual suspects in here. There's an Isaiah Thomas all-star card. Again, some of these are a little bit off-center, but that's okay. Um, let's see who else we have in here that we could hit in these packs. Uh, there's a Charles Barkley all-star. That's a pretty cool one. Uh, there's a Mookie Blaylock. Kevin Edwards and Mike Smirk. Okay. Uh, no Jordans on the first uh, couple packs, but plenty more packs to open here. So I'm just going to kind of put these in piles over here. Let's do a couple more. Just going to open these up. Put them in a pile over here. Make the video go a little bit more quicker. Um, so again, if you guys are looking for kind of a good box to open to get a lot of awesome cards, I would definitely recommend opening up one of these boxes. You can get them for, I think, a pretty good deal right now on eBay. Um, you know, 100 bucks, and for the cards that you could potentially pull out of them, I think it's a good deal. Uh, there's a Jeff Hornacek. John Williams. Let's see, Jerome Benny Johnson. There's a Magic Johnson. There we go. That's a nice card. Magic Johnson All-Star card. We'll put him in the pile over here. There's a Tom Garrick, okay, Sam Mitchell, rookie. Spud Webb, Carl Malone, there we go. J.R. Reed. Okay, again, we're looking for, there's another Dominique Wilkins. Oh, put him in the wrong pile. Dominique All-Star card. We're looking for the Michael Jordans, the Sam Vincent, there's a James Worthy, there's a Cliff Robinson. Okay, boom, here we go. Here's our first one. So this is our Sam Vincent. And this, we're definitely going to put this one in the sleeve. This one looks really, really nice. Pulled fresh from the pack. So here's a Sam Vincent. And as you can see, that's Michael Jordan on the front. And he's in a number 12 jersey. This card looks pretty good. It's a little bit off-center top to bottom, but I've seen worse. I think for what this is, this is a pretty good one. So we'll definitely put him off to the side there. Uh, that's our first pull. I think a good pull. Uh, oh, and boom, right underneath him, we have our Mark Jackson card. Wow, that's awesome. So there's the Mark Jackson Menendez Brothers card. Um, this is a really, really nice card to have and to pull out of this box. Uh, even in a nine, these cards, are, these cards are worth grading. So this one looks really, really nice. We might have to send this one in. We're going to look at these again a little bit later, but that's awesome. We got those two pulls. Those are two of the cards that we were looking for. So already in the first couple packs, we're getting the hits. Ah, boom, there's a Sean Kemp rookie. It's got a little bit of ink on there. That's weird. I've never seen one of those. One of those look like that before. Doesn't look like it's messed up. Just looks like it has some ink on it. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, here's a really nice Larry Bird. There we go. There's a Larry Bird. Looks like it's got a little bit of... Stuff on the bottom there, a little bit of whiting on the corner, but that's a Larry Bird All-Star card. That's great. Um, again, there's a lot of pulls in this box. Um, so, you know, if somebody, there's a Manu Bowl, if somebody were to ask me, hey, should I buy one of these boxes? I would say definitely go for it. Um, you know, if you can get a box for around 100 bucks or under 100 bucks, great deal. There's a Sean Kemp rookie. Um, this one looks pretty nice, a little off-centered left to right, but nice nonetheless. We're going to put him in the pile. Next up, we have a Reggie Miller, and we're going to put him in the all-star pile. We have a Lester Corner, Winston Bennett. We'll put him in the rookies over here. Go to a couple more packs. Let's see. I see one right on the bottom over here. It's a Drazen Petrovich. And, oh, my God, look who's on top. There he is. That's the Michael Jordan card. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this on the video, but there is a little bit of surface. 
Ooh, and this card looks so nice too. You could see the factory scratch lines on there. If I hold it up in the light, you can almost see them, how it has a little bit of li a, a few lines on there. Uh, that stinks, but it's a Michael Jordan. So we're going to sleeve them up and put them in the pile. Let's see who we have next. Mitch Richmond. We got a Reggie Miller. Okay, Sydney Lowe, Rick Smith, Liddell Eeks. Right, Perv Ellison, that's a cool card. Johnny Moore, and a Drazen Petrovich. Drazen Petrovich rookie, that's a nice one. It's got a little bit of an issue over here. It looks like the uh, edge of the card got hit, but I'm going to put him off to the side. I believe the, the uh, Petrovich card in a 10 is going for right now about two, 300 bucks. So that's another really good card to pull. And if you get a nice one to grade... All right, open up a couple more packs here. Let's see who else we can get. So, let's see here. Next up, Charles Smith, Sherman Douglas, Tom Chambers, Jay Humphreys. There's an Akeem Olajuwon, all-star. Uh, let's see here. Greg Kite, Kevin Johnson, all-star. So this is a really nice Scotty Pippen. A couple little factory lines on the top, but pretty good. Larry Nance, Muggsy Bogues, one of the shortest players in the NBA. Got a couple of the uh, checklist cards. Here's a Nick Anderson, Brad Davis, Walter Davis, Joe Dumars, all-star. Uh, let's see, Michael Ansley, rookie, Stacey King, rookie. There's a Terry Porter, Adrian Dantley. There's a beautiful Patrick Ewing. But it's got a little bit of a ding on the corner. That stinks. Uh, then we have the coach's card. I believe that is... I forget what their names are. East First West. Pretty cool. Mark Akers, David Rivers, Craig Elo, Walter Davis. Oh, there's a John Stockton All-Star. That's pretty cool. Uh, Mike Schuler, Cliff Livingston. All right. Moving right along to the next couple packs here. Again, not so bad on the pulls so far. Um, it's always good to get these cards nice and straight and centered, but these cards are from the 90s. And back in the 90s, they were just printing these things out by the tens of thousands. <laughs> they didn't really care about centering. They, were just, they just wanted to print these out to get packs out the door. Uh, there's a BJ Armstrong. Let's see, Kevin McHale, he's a Hall of Famer. Kenny Battle, another rookie. Kiki Randuade, Jeff Malone, Tom Chambers, all star. Uh, Danny Ferry, rookie. Bernard King, Mark Price. Clyde Drexler, Clyde the Glide. There we go. That's a nice card. Um, okay, James Edwards, Reggie Lewis, John Williams, Andy Allen, James Worthy, all star. Uh, let's see. There's a Chris Mullen. Uh, there's a Dennis Rodman. That's a pretty cool card. And right behind him, another Chris Mullen All-Star. You got a Mark Aguirre, Randy Allen, Mike Woodson, Clyde Drexler, Dave Wingate, and Lee Wilkins. All right. So we're definitely getting a lot of All-Stars. Uh, we did hit the Mark Jackson, and we did hit the Sam Vincent, and we did get a Michael Jordan. Um, and... I'd say in all these boxes that I've opened, I've probably, on average, gotten anywhere between two and three Michael Jordans per box. Um, same thing with the Sam Vincents and the Mark Jackson cards. Um, that's pretty much what you're hitting. I think there was only about 150 to or 200 cards in the set. So, all right, now here's an interesting card. Uh, this is what you call a off cut. <laughs> So this looked like it was Rodney McRae, and it looked like this was off-centered. And this is what we're talking about when we say a misprint or an off-cut card. This was uh, totally off, <laughs> and they just pushed it out into a pack. No uh, quality control whatsoever back then. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's a Steve Kerr. Not a bad player. There's a Jeff Malone, John Paxson. There's a Carl Malone. Uh, let's see. Another rookie card, Per Richardson, Alex English, Robert Parrish. Uh, we're looking for the good guys here. There's a, oh, boom, here we go. Here's a Michael Jordan All-Star. 
This one looks really nice too. All right, let's get a sleeve. We're gonna sleeve him up. Okay, so this card looks pretty good. I wouldn't say it's a 10. It's a little bit off top and bottom, left and right, I believe. Just a little bit. You can see these cards ever so slightly are actually cockeyed a little bit, uh, some of them. And that typically happens with the packs, but we did hit the card. So from a numbers perspective of hitting the cards, yes, we hit the card. So uh, let's see here. There's another John Stockton. Del Curry, Kevin Duckworth, Ken Norman, Bill Cartwright, Rolando Blackman, All-Star, Chris Ford, Kevin Hart, Scott Roth. All right. So those are about half the packs. And I think we did pretty good so far with half the packs. Let's see if we could uh, pull any other ones here. Again, we're still looking for... Let's see here. I think we're looking for the base... The base uh, Larry Bird. We're still looking for a Magic Johnson. And actually, it's funny. The last pack that I just opened, uh, boom, there we go. We got another nice pull. This is another Michael Jordan. So this is going to be our second Jordan hit out of the box. He was right up on top on the pack. It's always tricky when you get one of these cards on the top pack because uh, they have the, they're most likely to get corner dings and surface issues when they're the top card. But still, that's another Jordan. Right underneath the Jordan, we got another John Stockton. We got a Pat Riley. And look at this. We got another Rodney McRae off-cut card. That's funny. This is going to be two out of the same box. So obviously, both of these guys that day made it in here. Um, no way around it, I guess. Uh, there's a Rolando Blackman all-star. Ron Harper, Pooh Richardson, rookie, Sam Bowie. It's a Moses Malone. Uh, there's Jeff Malone. There's a David Robinson All-Star. Pretty cool card. Dylan Gervin. And a word of Ricky Pierce. There's a David Robinson rookie. This is a pretty cool card. Guess maybe we could sleeve him up. You can see on this, I don't know if it shows up well, but right on the bottom, there's just a tiny, tiny bit of a ding right there. It might not show up on camera, but it is a David Robinson rookie. Um, I believe the David Robinson rookie, I think goes right now. I think it sells for about 300 bucks, two, 300 bucks, I believe, um, in a, in a PSA 10. That's a pretty cool card to hit. Might be worth some money. We're going to take a look at it again later. Uh, let's see, Eddie Johnson still haven't hit a Magic Johnson card yet. That's weird. Uh, the rookie AC Green All Star. All right. So I think we're doing pretty good so far uh, out of this box. Again, centering is everything with these cards. You always want to get. You'll hit the cards. It's just a matter of is it nice enough to grade. That's always the question. So that's why I say you got to open, you can't just open one of these boxes and hope to get the perfect card that you're looking for. You got to open a bunch of them. Um, that's what I found anyway. You know, you might have to open two or three of these boxes to pull the cards that you want. And there's, speaking of which one of the cards that we want, there is a Magic Johnson. Pretty nice. Uh, a little bit off center left to right and maybe top to bottom, but a nice card nonetheless. We're going to put them in the pile there. Uh, the Magic Johnsons are starting to creep up. Those cards in a nine are going for about a hundred bucks. In a ten, I think they're going for like three, four hundred. Um, everything's been creeping up lately. Kevin McHale All Star, uh, Todd Lichty, Danny Farrell, Billy Thompson. There's a Dennis Rodman. That's a really nice card. Put him off to the side. Uh, there's a Charles Barkley. There's a Patrick Ewing. Pretty cool. Eric Lechner, Steve Kerr, good player. He's a coach now. There's a really nice Scotty Pippen all-star. A little bit off-center, but it's a Scotty Pippen. Jeff Martin, Brian Shaw, Vladi Divac rookie. That's a pretty nice one. Again, a little bit off-center, but Vladi Divac. Glenn Rice. Uh, let's see here. 
Ricky Vanderwehr, Brown Dinkins, John Paxson, Robert Parrish, All-Star, Grant Long. So we're definitely hitting the cards. That's good. We did hit the Magic Johnson. Uh, it wasn't as nice that I, as I would have hoped, but we still got the card. Um, I know a lot of people ask, what do you do with the cards if you don't grade them? Uh, so you could do a couple different things with the cards. You could put them together in lots. Let's say if you have, you know, five or ten cards of a good notable player that you don't think you're going to send off to be graded, you might want to put them together in a lot and sell them on eBay. So that's an option. I know I said I wanted to hit a Larry Bird and boom, the first card of the last pack that I opened, there's a Larry Bird, a little bit off center, but nice card nonetheless. Um, I saw a couple of other ones in here. There's a Minute Bowl. Chucky Brown, Larry Smith. There's a Charles Barkley All-Star. There's a Mookie Blaylock Rookie. Kevin Edwards, Alonso Tinsdale, Mark West, Terry Teagate. Let's see, Robert Bird. There's a Reggie Miller All-Star. It'd be nice to hit another one of those uh, Sam Vincent cards. There's uh, Isaiah Thomas. The Isaiah Thomas, believe it or not, these cards are going for about 100 bucks now. Um, Sean Elliott. Peterson, start Larry Smith, Isaiah Thomas. It's like our third Isaiah Thomas All Star. Not bad. So we have a couple more packs. Let's say about nine more packs to go here. Kind of blowing through this box. Again, uh, probably sometime next week. Or in a couple days, we're going to do the Series 2 box. So we can show you guys what's inside of the Series 2 box and maybe talk about the cards that we, that we pull out of there because uh, those are gaining in value as well. So Jim Paxson. Okay, Michael Cage. Sean Kemp. Here we go. Here's a Sean Kemp rookie. Not a bad card. Sean Kemp... Uh, Cards have been going up in value. Uh, this one's a little bit off center there. I don't know if you guys can see that. A little bit off center left and right. The top and bottom looks decent. A little bit off center, but we'll definitely sleeve him up. It's a notable. Underneath him, we had the Dominique Wilkins. Pretty good. That was the all star. Uh, let's see here Kevin Johnson, Dennis Johnson, Jeff Hornacek, Reggie Lewis. Oh, boom. We got another Sean Camp and. Had that same issue with the printing. You can see the ink up there. That's so weird that it has all that ink. A lot of these cards have the same issues. Here's a Magic Johnson All-Star. Pretty nice card. Looks like it's actually decently centered. That's pretty good. So we're definitely going to sleeve him up. Uh, not sure if we're going to grade it, but it is a Magic Johnson All-Star. Obviously, with the documentary coming out, anything Magic Johnson right now is going to be doing really, really good. Going right along here, we have, there's a James Worthy. There's a Cliff Robinson, Sam Perkins. Ah, boom, we got another Sam Vincent. Nice. This one looks really, really good. Check this out, guys. This one looks super nice. I mean, you can almost tell right away on the centering. Centering looks really, really good. Top and bottom. Might be a little bit top and bottom. There's a little bit of a tiny issue with that corner, but it is a Sam Vincent pull. So that's a great card to pull. That's our second one that we've got so far. Awesome. Uh, and again, boom, in the same pack, we got the Mark Jackson. This is great. So if you remember, I believe when we opened up that pack and we hit the first Sam Vincent and Mark Jackson, I believe they were both in the same pack. So that looks good. A little bit of a little surface issue up there. I'm not really sure what that was, but this looks great nonetheless. Beautiful Mark Jackson, again, with the Menendez in the background. So there's our two. I did say at the beginning of the video, we usually hit about one to two um, per box. Here's a, I'm going to put this off here for one second. John Lacy Green. Uh, here is a Larry Bird. This looks really, really nice. That's a Larry Bird All-Star. I'm um, trying to look at it. It's got a little bit of an issue down at the bottom right there. A little bit of whiting. I don't know if you could see that on camera. But pretty nice. All right. Keep moving along. We're going to... 
Now, I already saw on the bottom of this pack, I'm just gonna go through these real quick. There's a Reggie Miller, there's a Fat Lever. On the bottom of this pack, I believe I saw a Drazen Petrovich. And this one looked really, really nice. Um, I believe this card is like a two or $300 card right now. They've been slowly starting to creep up. This one's pretty nice. Might have a little bit of an issue on that top corner, but I'm gonna sleeve up this one. Uh, looks a lot better than the first one that we pulled. And we're gonna take a better look at these um, a little bit later. And then I'm gonna do a recap on all these cards that we pulled out of this box. So I'm going to just keep opening up a couple more packs. I believe we have four or five packs left out of this box. And I just opened up the other pack and who was right on top? None other than Michael Jordan himself. <laughs> Go figure. So uh, let's just go ahead and take this pack and we'll put this right on the bottom because we can see the Jordan right on top. So let's just go ahead and get him out and sleeve him up. Here's our other Michael Jordan pull. I don't know. Again, I don't know if you could see this on camera too much, but there is a little bit of some streaking on this card. Centering is just a tiny bit off in the corners. So not going to grade this one. But it is a Michael Jordan, so we are going to sleeve him up. I have a bunch of these guys, uh, the Michael Jordan card. So, again, that's our third one out of this box. Not bad. Uh, there's a Tim Hardaway rookie. Pretty good pull. There's an Akeem Olajuwon all-star. Uh, let's see here. Michael Thompson. There's another Akeem Olajuwon. Sherman Douglas rookie. Frank Cornette. Joe Carroll, Herb Ellison, rookie, Kevin Johnson, all-star, Brad Sellers. All right, so box-wise, we're doing pretty good so far. We're hitting all the cards that we wanted to hit. We're getting all the pulls that we wanted to get. Um, so from a statistical standpoint, the cards that we wanted to hit are definitely in the box. And like I said, you're going to hit probably between two and three base Jordans per box and maybe one or two All-Stars per box. Same thing with the Sam Vincent and the Mark Jackson. Um, so these are our last three packs that we're opening. Uh, there's a Mark Price. There's a Clyde Drexler. Pretty nice card. Hit a couple of those. Chris Mullen, All-Star. James Edwards. James Worthy. Uh, Jared Wilkins, there's a Scotty Pippen, Terry Porter, there's a Patrick Ewing All-Star. Uh, let's see, John Stockton All-Star, whoop. Cliff Livingston, Larry Nance, Muggsy Bogues, Nick Anderson Rookie, Perv Ellison Rookie, Joe Dumars All-Star, and Michael Ansley Rookie. All right, not really worth anything in the Michael Ansley. So... Uh, yeah, so to recap, I think we did pretty good. Um, we got a lot of All-Stars, Akeem Olajuwon. We did get a couple Larry Bird All-Stars, Isaiah Thomas All-Star. That looked good. Um, Robert Parrish, Kevin McHale. So we did get a lot of All-Star cards. And you could see, I don't know if it picks it up on camera, but these cards, uh, they're varying shades. <laughs> so I don't know if you could see that. This one card, the Scottie Pippen, looks lighter than the Lafayette Lever card. Um, but we got a lot of All-Stars. We got a lot of rookies. Um, and let's see how we did on the Jordans. So uh, in total, I believe we did pretty well. So we got one, two, three base Jordans right there. Those are the base Jordans. Uh, we got two of the Mark Jackson Menendez Brothers cards. We got two of the Sam Vincent cards. And we got one of the Michael Jordan All-Star. Now, in addition to that, we did get a really nice Drazen Petrovich. We got a really nice Magic Johnson uh, All-Star. And we did get a Sean Kemp and a David Robinson rookie. So overall, we did pretty good uh, on this box. Uh, if you like the video, 
give us a thumbs up. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and you could follow our channel and get notifications every time we do a box break. Uh, if you see any boxes that you like and you want us to do a break, send us an email or just comment on the channel. Uh, we're really good about responding to everybody's comments. We wanna educate everyone and kind of let people know what's in the boxes before they open them themselves. So we hope to see you guys on the next break. Be on the lookout when we do uh, series two of the 90, 1990 hoops. Uh, have a great day and we'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.